What's up guys? It's Justin and um, I'm here with my best friend roommate and his name's Nicholas. How's it going? And uh, guys, we are dating and relationships experts and what we're gonna tell you right now is what to do on a date, how to go on a date. Uh, oftentimes, you'll get a girl on Tinder or you'll meet a girl in the club or in the bar or on the street during the day or in the mall or who knows, you meet a girl and you're like, where do I take this woman? I want to spend time with her. I want to get to know her. Okay, so look at it like this, right? You can either have some tequila, right? Or you can have some wine or like something more chill, right? And the reason for that is because you gotta ask yourself, what does this girl want? What kind of demographic does she have, right? So for example, the girl I'm meeting up with right now, so far I know she's from a small town, who moved to the big city. So probably she wants to party. She probably wants to go a little bit crazy, right? So probably tequila, <laughs> right? Uh, versus, let's say a girl, like this week I hung out with a girl from Europe and um, beautiful girl, but she obviously seems more wholesome. And so I'm like, cool, we'll do a little bottle of wine, dim the lights, make it cool, hang out in my place, right? Oh, come, let's talk. Oh, let me, I even show her my YouTube videos. And uh, it's pretty fun versus the Tia Kilo girl. I'm just gonna play some music, party, dance, and then, then we probably will end up hooking up. Okay. So if you're asking yourself, what to, first of all, first things first. Um, I mean, when you're hanging out with a girl, chances are she probably wants to hook up with you as well. Okay. That woman probably wants to hook up with you. Um, so that's why you screen. You screen her out, right? This girl I'm meeting up with. She pretty much told me when I met her on Saturday at the club, it's now Wednesday, she told me on Saturday, I'm down for anything, anything, right? And so she's coming over to meet me here for wine, but I'm gonna be like, hey, is, I'm gonna text her right after this video and ask her, is tequila okay? I hope tequila's okay, right? I hope this makes sense. So you gotta figure out the vibe of the girl. What kind of vibe does she like? Is she an artsy type girl? Go find a cool museum near your place. Right? Um, is she more of a party girl? Make her have that kind of experience that she would want to have. Okay? So figure out what kind of guy you are, what you like, and bring her into that reality. Uh, but also make sure your personality is adaptable so you can get a wide range of beautiful people, including women, into your life. And oftentimes, I mean, we're young guys, we're millennials. I'm, uh, I'm a young man myself, and I know that women absolutely fucking love me. Uh, not to sound cocked or anything, but <laughs> they tell me. And uh, obviously, a woman, she likes to sleep with guys too. The same way as a young man, you like to sleep with women. As a young woman, a woman is gonna like to sleep and experiment with a lot of different guys as well. And so, show her a cool experience. Make her have a good time. So, think about it, let's think together. Let's, let's stop right now, okay? And you're gonna pause this video and you're gonna tell, write down three date spots based on who you are that you can think of taking a girl, okay? Pause right now. Okay, so probably most of you never pause the video, <laughs> but ideally, what you should be doing is, I wish it was daytime so I could show you where I live. It's beautiful, I live on the harbor front in downtown Toronto. There's parks over there, right? There's a skating rink over there, and I could go for a walk in the park. I go for a walk on the harbor front. I could go plaque catch Pokemon on Pokemon Go. I could uh, take the girl to the skating rink. I could take her for hot chocolate. There's a lot to do in my area, which is very close to my place. Or I could just take her to a bar, or I could just say, hey, come to my rooftop, my rooftop upstairs on the 21st floor, and have the drinks. So that's always an option. Nicholas, what are some good date ideas? Nicholas? Uh, just honestly, get drunk and fuck. Meet at a public location, so it's a little less sketch. Build their pour for like an hour while simultaneously drinking. Then you go to, you know, your place. So make her comfortable. Pretty be much. a cool, normal guy. Just crack um, jokes. See if you like her. For example, you brought a girl over here the other day. You yeah. guys just didn't vibe. They came in here. They just talked about. It was a really short interaction. You know, maybe like a minute max. We had I mean, like a little bit of exchange, and yeah. then. I barely knew her basically, but then she got to know me and we just realized that, you know, she was too proper for me. I'm a little bit of a fuck boy, a little bit crazy. Uh, I'm a stripper, you know, she's an aerospace engineer, it speaks for itself. <laughs> We're just not on the same wavelength. Whereas I kind of go for like the girls with daddy issues, I guess, and who are like more open-minded and liberal. Well, because that's kind of the background you came from. I so. guess so, yeah, considering I have issues myself. <laughs> but right? there's nothing wrong with that. You know? No, and, and for me personally, I'm a, I had a, to be honest, like, 
arguably had a bit of a fucked up upbringing, but I'm a very preppy, like, yay, let's, let's, uh, everyone should be friends and the world is beautiful. And so a lot of the girls I go for tend to be very proper girls who are also a little bit fucked up. <laughs> if she doesn't fuck on the first date, I cut her loose straight up. Yeah, and like, I mean, personally for me, like, I, I look for girls who, um, are very career focused, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Or very, like, like, I like girls with ambition and that kind of thing, right? So, um, yeah, so, so two. Oh yeah, yeah. dude, she's got like she's got nine thousand dollars saved up. Really? She's killing it. She's fucking killing it. For for fucking she's nineteen. For nineteen, she's nah, whatever. She won't care. I mean, she probably doesn't watch our videos. I hope she, I hope you don't. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Look for girls who are in your demographic and then figure out what could we do that's fun together. And usually, right in Nick's situation, he's a stripper, right? So drinks. Um, I oftentimes I just hang out. We just hang out and end up in an isolated location. Imagine this, right? Um, you see two squirrels humping in a park, okay? You're, you're walking by, you see two squirrels, they're humping, and you're like, oh, fucking animals. That's all we are, all we are is animals. If you end up in an isolated location with a girl, make her comfortable and get consent. Always make her comfortable, always get consent. Make sure she feels safe. Don't put, don't, don't <laughs> you don't want this to be you. You don't want to fucking walk in the front door, slam the door and be like, ha welcome, ah, right? No, like, Make her comfortable. Use lots of statements of empathy. In fact, the girl will respect you and feel you respect her more, and she's more likely to even hook up with you if you use lots of statements of empathy. So I constantly, when I'm finally in my isolated location, so like let's say we go on our date, we hang out, maybe we go to the museum, maybe we go for a walk in the park. Um, just for a, what I like to do is I like to meet at the train station not too far away from here, walk along the harbor front, grab a bottle of wine, go to our rooftop, right? And then bring them down here. And the entire time, the entire process, let me know if you feel uncomfortable. Don't let me feel, make you feel uncomfortable. You can tell me to stop. If you think I'm, I'm a weird pervert fuck, tell me to fuck off. I, t I tell girls this straight up, right? And then if, if they say anything, I'm, I'll be like, well listen, I'm a guy and you're in my bed. <laughs> that, that's like one of my statements of empathy. Like, listen, like, come on, I'm a guy and you're in my bed. Of course I'm gonna try and hook up with you. You're fucking gorgeous. You're a beautiful woman. Okay, of course I want you, right? But, listen, I'm okay with my, my sense of self. If you don't, that's cool. We don't have to do anything, right? And the girl will actually, first of all, that's a good way to gauge if she's comfortable, get consent, um, and also just make sure she feels comfortable and she understands where you're coming from, okay? So that's pretty much it. That's essentially how to go on a date and how to ban girls when you go on a date. Um, yeah, that's it. So just think about this, tequila, or wine, tequila or wine, figure that out, and uh, you're gonna have a good time. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. Wish me luck on my dates, but I think I'll go, I think I'll, I'll be all right. And uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our beautiful community, because you guys are fucking awesome, and we will talk to you later, bye.